Harrisburg Township in Montserrado County and other parts of Liberia erupted into celebration when President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf switched on clean and low-cost hydroelectric power to Monrovia from the Mount Coffee hydropower plant after nearly 26 years of the hydro lying in ruins. President Sirleaf led an array of foreign dignitaries and government officials at a formal program marking the dedication of the operation of the first of four turbines of the Mount Coffee hydropower plant. During the program, the flags of the project funders, including the United States government through the Millennium Challenge Corporation, the Kingdom of Norway, the Federal Republic of Germany, and the European Union through the European Investment Bank were hoisted followed by remarks by their respective representatives. Marking the momentous occasion, Madame Sirleaf, otherwise known as the Iron Lady, lauded the funders and contractors for their support to government and noted that the government's work of development is never finished. She said it is the responsibility of successors to finish what has been started. Let me say the Liberian workers and all of those in this community that have been here, that have watched it, that have worked so hard, we owe you a great test thank you for being there with us. The point of this is that government is continuous. And what we do not finish will leave to the successor who has a responsibility to finish it. Thank all of you for being a part of this historic day. The day when big lights in a small way replace small lights of yesterday. Thank you. Yes, we had set out to construct a hydropower plant, but we ended up constructing so much more. The, the completion of Mount Coffee is perhaps the finest manifestation of Liberians taking what epitomizes the totality of the destruction wrought by war and overcoming it, of turning what was a grim tombstone of our savage war into a magnificent and living cathedral of progress and development. Yes, we have built a hydropower plant here, but what we have really constructed is a monument to our resolve to look forward to a brave new future. Yes, we have built a hydropower plant here, but what we have really erected is a temple to our new religion of audacity and hope. Yes, 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 we have constructed a hydropower plant here. But what we have built in truth is a citadel guarding and projecting the vaunted truth that a nation united with a common purpose can overcome even the most insurmountable odds. Accompanied by her foreign guests, other dignitaries, and government officials, President Sirleaf and Vice President Joseph Boykai unveiled a plaque commemorating the project partners and the momentous occasion of first power. The Liberian leader also had a ribbon-cutting ceremony and formally switched on the first turbine, which added 22 megawatts to the power grid of LEC. As part of the ceremony, President Sirleaf, riding on a bus with her foreign guests, visited the Raymond Camp community in Harrisburg, Montserrado County, which was provided with streetlights and electrical connections for the first time. School children greeted the Liberian leader with songs. <laughs> President Sirleaf later brought smiles and celebration to the inhabitants of Raymond Camp when she turned on lights for the community 